talk about suspension and complementary modifications for your sports bike. On this particular ZX-12, I don't have any suspension at all. I don't have the spring and that's how I bought the bike. It makes for a very rough ride. This is gonna actually be my race bike, but I still wanna be able to ride it on the street when I want to. Having no suspension is bad for the street and bad for racing. Uh, it's a very rough ride. And when you're launching a bike from a dig, when you're drag racing, the back tire isn't gonna rebound. This for my bike is, a, is something that I need to modify because if you're doing a dig race, how your bike rebounds and how it springs back is gonna determine whether or not you have traction or not this bike spins a lot just because i don't have any suspension that's why suspension is so crucial because it it really affects your traction and how much traction you're gonna have depending on how much your rear shock absorbs and how you have it set up is it rebounding too quickly is it rebounding too slow when you want to do anything that involves launching your bike from a dead stop Suspension is very crucial because the rebound is going to affect your traction dramatically. Not so much in a roll race, but definitely from a dig, drag racing, suspension is highly important and will play a major factor. And if you can leave hard enough to beat your opponent, uh, you see, I got the Fish's extended chrome swing arm, the stretch 12 inches over. I feel like 12 inches is the perfect length because you achieve that cool look and you have pretty good traction when you start extending even further out 14 inches 16 inches you start losing traction because there's nothing above your tire to make it heavy in order to actually grip the road lowering your bike but when you lower your bike it lowers your center of gravity making you closer to the ground and less likely to wheelie but it also reduces aerodynamic drag because you've lowered your center of gravity. Thus, there is less surface for air to move underneath the bike, causing less drag. Then we got the mirror deletes. I think deleting your mirrors is a preference. You know, some people that ride on the street really like their mirrors. I actually like mirrors personally. They're there for a reason and they're, you know, a safety mechanism but your mirrors are like the part of the bike that causes the most drag. That's why so many people opt to get block off plates and remove them. So when you couple, you know, a mirror delete, a stretch being lowered and having a nice adjustable suspension, these three different modifications coupled together really affect number one, the rideability of your bike. You know, newer bikes have traction control, wheelie control, and all type of different gizmos and gadgets. And I was talking to a dude the other day. I just actually dropped my Jixer off at the shop the other day. And this dude had a BMW S1000. And you, all, and you guys all know that cocky BMW owner. And there was somebody else's ZX12, like a ZX12 just like mine at the shop, but somebody else's. It was a... It was an unrestricted model. It was a 2000 or a 2001. And me and a dude at the shop, we were just, you know, like laughing at the guy because we were like, man, this this 12 right here, keep up with you. It'll probably do about 190. He was like, in like two miles or five miles. I was like, bro, he don't know about this 12, man. <laughs> That's just a little story. But with these older bikes, you have to kind of do it more mechanically. You have to extend the bike, you have to lower it, you have to reduce drag, you have to have a good suspension setup in order to do what these new bikes can do. This goes for any bike, a 600, a 750, a 1000, anything, you know, that the straight line aerodynamics will be drastically improved on any type of bike by having a stretch, being lowered, having a good adjustable suspension and, and deleting your mirrors. 